There we go. Oh, look at this, you guys. Woo -wee. We are going to have to watch our stamina, though, because this uses even more stamina than this. Um, let's take our green die off, too, and we'll just call this the green machine. Yeah, baby. Hello, sir. Would you like to be the first contestant to try out the green machine? He said yes. Welcome back, everybody, to 70 Sedai. I'm the Bearded of OG, and in this episode, we are going to, I don't know, go kill a bear, maybe, or something. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I'm down here in my iron mine, and I'm all the way down uh, to bedrock, and this mine is just a mess. I mean, I, I don't even know if I can find my way out of here. Uh, I just haven't really tried to make it <laughs> too nice and neat, so, you know, it's it's all over the place. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably lost, so I don't even know how the fuck to get out of here. Uh, this way, maybe? So, this, this got into a nitrate pocket there. Um, if we go this way... Oh, shit. Ouch. Okay, we came up this way. This is embarrassing. You know, lost in my own mind. <laughs> uh, here we go. This is... This is the way. There we go. Yeah, so this place is just an absolute disaster <laughs> right now. Um, but uh, I have pulled a lot of iron out of it. And so you can, as you can see, it's day 31. I, I decided to take the last two days after the Horde night and uh, just get the, the Horde base fixed up and, sh and reinforced. And I'll show you what I did there. I've done a whole lot of mining. Um, let's see, we, uh, I leveled twice and I have another point, uh, to spend here. And I think we have one or two challenges to do. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's do that first. Let's look at, look at the challenges. I'm trying to, trying to, trying to decide what to do here. Uh, so we got this lumberjack one. Um, uh, that's a, uh, oh wow. That's 10,000 XP and explosives. Okay, so we'll go uh, talk to Rekt for that. I did miss out on getting that orange pump shotgun. I completely forgot about it, and then when I remembered, it was, you know, already too late. So it's like whatever. We know we'll we'll find another one, and maybe even a better one at that. So let's see. I've got two full stacks of iron here. So let's put one of those in there. I want to keep this clay going, and let's start building forged steel up again. And we'll put the rest of this iron. Oh, did I put, did I leave it in here? I did. Uh, no, let's not leave that in there. I'll put it in here. I want the sand to go in here. And I've also been making, um, you know, more concrete too. So we have um, a stack of concrete now. I'm currently making some cobblestone. We'll put those two items in there. Let's see if there's any water to harvest. So, I needed a bunch of clay. And so what I did was... I went over behind Dick's and I started digging a pit. That might turn into a second fallback horde base, maybe. Um, that just kind of depends upon how long we stick around here but while i was working on that pit a dire wolf decided to jump in with me and say hello and this is what happened
So yeah, we got three super corn seed. And super corn, if you guys didn't know this, is actually very valuable. You can sell that stuff and make quite a bit of money. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna set up some more farm plots because I, I want to keep using my existing farm plots. Uh, you know, for for growing food. And let's actually grab some of that clay back out of there. And I'm gonna do. We got three super corn, so we'll do three of those. I guess we'll we'll wait for those to finish. And while we're waiting, um, let's go ahead and harvest. Okay, so we'll put the potatoes and the corn in there. And we have 74 corn and 75 potatoes, so it's pretty even, Steven. So we'll plant two uh, or four potatoes and four corn. Got that done. Uh, we'll put those seeds back in there. And it uh, looks like we have a few mushrooms to harvest. And we got three spores out of the deal. Put those back down. So we're doing really good on food and all that stuff, as you can see here. I still have uh, five hobo stews and plenty of material to make more. We'll stick that water in there. So yeah, the deal with the um, the super corn is that you can you can sell it, and you get a lot of money for it. Uh, so that's the plan for this uh, this corn for now. The recipes for super corn. Um, I mean, I know you can make glue and you can eat the corn itself, and it gives you some kind of a buff, which I don't remember what it is. But I think, you know, for, for the here and now, uh, using it to make some bank is going to be what we're really going to want to probably do with it. Okay, so that is planted. Oh, by the way, I also did find an airdrop too. Uh, it wasn't anything to write home to mother about, but it was okay, I suppose. All right, let's make uh, another big batch of hobo uh, with the seasoned meat that we have. Well, actually, you know what? We can only make two because we only have two fats. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to have to uh, start collecting that more than we have been. Uh, so we'll make two more of those for now. Okay, anyway, points. Um, I... Where are we at? Skills. Uh, so I put those two points into salvage ops so now we have salvage ops four and lucky looter four and what we're going to be working on next is getting perception up to seven so we can get demolitions and dead eye up to four and we want to make sure we do that before the next horde night okay so let's go ahead and throw this next point into perception oh now we need two points okay so we're gonna to have to just sit on those points uh, to get those get that up uh, i would like to make that cigar too. I don't have any um which I'm gonna call it testosterone. So I think we're gonna load up and we're gonna go maybe go for a bear hunt. I think that's what we're gonna do. Something a little different. We'll get back to questing too, of course. But uh let's do something a little different today and I'm even going to take a recog just to make sure <laughs> that we uh, successfully kill a bear. Now, if we can find a small bear, small bears are, are really actually pretty easy to kill. But the big ones, they're pretty damn mean. Uh, also, I got all this stuff. I, I have a, a trader chest now, as you can see. And I'm just going to let this accumulate um, until we got, you know, something we want to buy. And then, you know, we'll take the glasses and the pumpkin cheesecake and hopefully find a sugar butts and try and maximize on that. So I think we're ready to set out. I've got um, pipe bombs and gunpowder 
crafting in here, getting ready for the next Horde Knight. Let's run over here and take a quick look-see at uh, the changes that I've made to the Horde base. I'm basically just making it tougher. Because we could potentially get a Demolisher on 35. Um, and the thing is, is the Demolishers are the one thing that really could take this tower down. And so as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm widening it. So uh, we're widening it both this way and also in back here. But I just, you know, I'm still working on the resources uh, to get this done. I haven't done anything else different with it other than just, you know, thickening up the base. And all of the uh, second high blocks are steel all the way through, except for these ones because I ran out of steel. But I'll get those upgraded. And as you can see, I also got all of the ladders uh, fully upgraded to steel. And, you know, I have seen the Zombs move sideways across the ladder, so we might even put more ladders up each side too just to give them, uh, you know, an even better path to get to us, and, you know, without them, you know, completely breaking it. Back here is the pit. Uh, where the dire wolf showed up and uh, this thing goes a long ways down and there it's still clay so I don't I don't know if it's because I'm close to a POI but I've never seen clay go that far down in this game so uh, my guess is it has something to do you know with being close to this POI but if I go dig another layer out that's going to be clay too uh, which is fine because you know we need the clay a and again I might utilize this pit later uh, and if I do of course I'll upgrade it um, you know, upgrade the sides to concrete uh, when the time comes. But that's not a priority at this point. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go see what uh, Rekt has for sale. Um, I just want to see if he's got like a new shotgun or something that we might want to work towards first because that might change our plans for, for this episode. If he doesn't, then I think we're going to go bear hunting. I did take a trip quite a ways to the north and found another town. I didn't find a trader there, but I didn't look all over. But not too much further than this is the snow biome, and that would be an ideal place, of course, to go on a bear hunt. So we'll just keep heading that direction if Rekt doesn't have anything we want to work for. If he does, then I'm probably going to go salvaging so we can get it, because that is the best way at this point for me to make money. And now that we have level 4 salvaging, we're going to even bring in more stuff, you know. Um, is there a sugar butts in here? No, but hackers, yeah, hackers is salvage harvest. My candy. What's this? Oh, that's the loot bonus stuff, right? Okay. All right, we'll keep that in mind. You better buy. Great. Here you go. Don't spend it all. Okay, this place. is our lumberjack. Um, I think. You know, I know twenty-five grenades is kick ass, but I think I'm going to take the molotovs because. I love Molotovs. They're so useful and they're so expensive for me to make. So that's what I'm going to take. Uh, I can make grenades too, by the way. We just need the parts. Nice. Okay. Let's take a look at your inventory. You're leaving. And what do you have for weaponry? You, he's got a steel sledge. He's got a level one pump shotgun, which is not as good as the orange, but it's cheaper. That would be significantly better than this. By... Like 21.7 points for normal and 50.4 points for power attack. Oh, man. Okay. We might have enough well, coin you don't like my food, you can always go to be able diving. to afford that right now. We, we probably would have enough coin to get that if I went back and grabbed all that stuff that I want to sell. Uh, oh, frig. Time to go. Um, I mean, I don't know. That's borderline, you know? I mean, that there's no doubt about it. That would, that would be an amazing improvement for us. I think I'm going to do it. Let's go back home and get all that stuff to sell, and let's get that steel sledge. It's just, it's so much better, <laughs> you know, than what we have. It really is. Um, so I think we'll do that. The level one pump shotgun, maybe. If we can raise the money also to get that before he resets, we probably will, but I'm not 
I'm not going to work super hard to do that, I don't think. Let's just see, you know, what we end up with money-wise. Okay, so we want to grab all of this stuff. And... And it's... He, okay, right, he didn't have a sugar butts, so... We're not going to be able to take advantage of that. There is... You know what, though? There is a vending machine over here. Well, it's a... It's a liquid machine. I don't want to spend 1500 on awesome sauce. There's going to be repops in here. Oh, here we go. It's got... Here we go. Sugar butts. Okay, let's buy that, too, because that'll... I mean, it's going to cost us 300 but... For a 10% thingy, I think that'll probably be worth it in the long run. Well, let's hope so, anyway. Alright, that one took three shots, but that's okay. We got the job done. The spikes have been helping tremendously, too, by the way, with the screamies. So I should have done that a long time ago, but better late than never, right? Okay, if this horde is still over here, we're going to pick them off. Looks like they are, or one of them is anyway. The other ones might be at a render distance, or they may have despawned. Let's get a little closer and see. They probably despawned, is my guess. Oh, shit. You know what? One of you guys reminded me in the comments that I need to take that point in mechanic to get more chance for magazines, and I completely didn't even think about that. Um, so the next point, well, you know what, though? That's still been a high priority. I still think we're going to keep pumping perception until we can get level four in demolitions and dead eye, and then we'll, we'll work on that. Okay, so anyway, um, let's make sure we have everything lined up here. Um, I just have too many of these, and I don't have weapons to put them on to sell, so we're just going to sell this straight up. I know ideally you want to try and put mods on weapons but the thing is too unless they've changed it i believe the item needs to be blue level or higher for it to be worth it um so again that's assuming they haven't changed anything okay so all that stuff we're going to sell um let's put these on take this uh pumpkin cheesecake sugar butts what's your problem you're my problem you want something? I want you to shut up and buy all this stuff. I didn't fix the pick all the way up because uh, I am still have a duct tape crisis. <laughs> uh, he has got repair kits, though. Okay, so let's grab this steel sledge. I know it's a level one, and we're probably going to find one in loot. Don't let the door hit you on your way out. The next time we go out, but... I mean, look at how much better this is when we do the comparison. There's just no contest, right? And we also have the two best sledgehammer mods already. And level one steel tools actually have three mod slots, which is cool. So we could... Uh, let's take the... Uh, let's take this back off of here because the steel, steel axe or the stone axe just doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. There we go. Oh, look at this, you guys. Woo-hoo-wee! We are going to have to watch our stamina, though, because this uses even more stamina than this. Um, let's take our green die off, too, and we'll just call this the green machine. Yeah, baby. Okay. And then bye. Or I'm going to sell that to you. So that still leaves us with 10,000 coin. We'd have to raise another 1500 and change to get this pump shotgun, but we do have till day 34, should we decide to do that. Do you have any glue? You don't. Shit. You have any duct tape? You don't. 
All right, I don't want to buy the repair kit. It's too expensive. I wouldn't want to get hurt. Look at this, you guys. Awesome. The green machine. That's what we're naming our sledge. Okay. Let's head north. And... These roads kind of, uh, well, I don't know if they parallel each other. Let's let's follow this one and see where it goes. We're going to go on a bit of a road to trip today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, our ultimate goal is to find a bear. So I, I, you know, salvaged my way up that other road and found that town. I did, I didn't spend a lot of time looking for a trader, but... I didn't find one, and if I did find one, it would have been another wrecked because it's still in the forest. But there's a lot of cars up here I could come and salvage at nighttime. So that's good to know. I think we came up this way uh, at one point to do a, a quest. What the hell was it? Oh, that was my bike. It makes that noise. The tire's kind of skidding, and it always scares the hell out of me because it's like, what is that? <laughs> is that some kind of newfangled zombie? Let's, uh, I'll tell you what, let's loot the car starting now, uh, but we're not going to, I'm not going to loot everything else right now just because, uh, or, or what we could maybe do is loot stuff. Yeah, see that little skid thing it makes? We could loot stuff on the way back too, but it might be a better idea. We read that arrow, uh, or sorry, archer book that allows us to recover 20% more arrows, but it looks like Darlene decided to eat our arrow. Steel arrows pack a punch, man, I'll tell you what. I, I like the bow in this game, but I'm partial to the crossbow, so we will eventually come across a decent crossbow, or maybe we'll even make one. Hello, sir, would you like to be the first contestant to try out the green machine? He said yes. I <laughs> kicked his ass. Love it. There's some glue. We'll take that. Oh, jeez. Okay. We're wasting expensive steel arrows. Instead, let's waste expensive 762 bullets. Come here, Skinny Pete. Oh, dude. Take that. Take that for allowing me to miss. Oh, there we go. Look. So what is that? That's two away. We're two away. fan freaking fantastic Two more to go, ladies and gentlemen, then we are going to be in mini bike land, uh, which is another good reason. I'm not taking either one of those things. Uh, another good reason for getting salvaging up to level four because we'll get more gas from wrenching cars there's a wheel that's good I think that's like eight wheels that I have now damn it Jim He took my arrows and he doesn't even have arms. It's not fair. Nice. That is an upgrade. There we go. Surprised it's taken me that long to find something better than a level one knife, but it has. Um, I wouldn't mind killing that rabbit for, well, for everything, but the fat especially. Where did he go? Here he is. I get uh, someone's attention. We can try out our new Kniffy. Oh, we didn't get any fat. Damn it, Edgar, you got fat.
but I'm not carving it off your ass. That is the most disgusting thing I can think of right at the moment. So does this just wrap around into the same town here? Did that chicken see me or? Yeah, he did. All right. Actually, you know what? I need to take that too. Except for we are oh, getting encumbered. So we're going to have to prioritize. We don't need the bones. They're useful. We don't need that. It's useful. Those we can scrap. Uh, we don't need eight gunpowder. And if we can get four more things of cloth, we can turn the glue into a duct tape. All right. We'll hang on to the rest of it for the moment. Um, We need fat, though. We're not even going to think about where we got that fat from, okay? Just don't think about it. All right, is this the same town? Yes, it is. So, so two highways running almost parallel with each other into the same town. How interesting. I didn't loot anything while I was here. Um, I pretty much just drove through it, you know, to see where what where things were. Come here, Ronald. Man, this sledgehammer's a beast. Oh, jeez. Um, we're going to take this, but we're going to scrap the radiator to save the spot. That's not an upgrade, but it's certainly worth taking and fixing up to sell. Got a Darlene here. She did. Let's see what's in the bus. Scrap that. Take the springs. And now we are. Let's see if she gives us our arrow back. There we go. Now we're totally encumbered. Because I can't help myself. And we're not passing up sewing kits. You know what, damn it? I just mined up like <laughs> 18,000 iron. I'm not carrying iron in my inventory. Screw that. Do we really need pumpkin seeds? I've got several. We don't need pumpkin seeds. I'm going to hang on to that by virtue of the fact that I'm desperate for duct tape and if we can just find a little more cloth, right? Uh, in fact... We could pick cotton, I suppose. Uh, we don't need two plastic. Honestly, we don't even need two leather. I know I shouldn't be throwing leather out, but it is what it is. Uh, let's also put this back on, too, by the way. Okay. No more looting. Except for this. <laughs> we need fat. Is that a duffel bag? Yeah, it is. Ooh. Change in plans. We're instead going to... Uh, nope. I still want the duct tape. I need it. Okay, put it this way. If, if we're going to shoot at a bear, we need to be right next to the bike so we can jump on it and GTFO. Film Fanatic's house. Um, see, there's the snow. Uh, I'm going to leave the paper. I would normally take it, but under the circumstances, we're leaving it. Dude, can you at least give me my arrow back? I'm not taking any of that shit. That's the least you could do for me shooting you in the ass is give you my arrow back. Show some consideration. Anyway, okay. Let's go north. Oh, we got to check the mole power car. This is crazy. <laughs> I can't help myself. See? See? I'm telling you, man. What do we... Oh, we just learned... Wasn't even paying attention to what the hell that magazine was. It was either Brawler or... 
clubs or something. I don't know. Let's try that again. Nope. Not taking a paper. That's worth 105 coin. Uh, I'll leave the paper in there. Do fire trucks have good loot in them? Yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't have time to read whatever that book was, but some of those fire almanac books are really good, so I'll have to look it up later or see if I can determine what it was. Seemed like a lot of zombos, but I only see two. Shut up, you guys. <laughs> what the? F that's... That's just not right. Wow. You know, um, come to think of it... Who are you? Oh, you're a feral. That's who you are? Shit. Fuck off. We found a POI in the multiplayer server that had some some people like spiked up on a pole too. That's that's just that's that's bad. That is not a nice thing to do to people. I'm just saying. Alright, we gotta see if we can get to the snow. I'm kinda not going the right way. UFO museum? What the hell is that all about? Let's check that out. That's that furrow. Um, let's look here real quick. Fireman's Almanac. Where is it at? Art, auto, Fireman's Almanac. Hypothermal, uh, hyperthermal protection. That's good, because that's desert. It might have been the axe mod. I know we already had attack speed. Or it might have been reduced chance to be lit on fire. Anyways, all of that's good stuff. Actually, quite good. Okay, well, we see snowy mountains off in the distance. That doesn't mean we're going to be able to get... Well, okay. Here, let's loot this car because we have plenty of room in our inventory, right? Are you feral? No. Yeah, we're taking those. There's our... Additional cloth fragment. And that got us one slot back. Wait a minute. How many fragments do we need for the first aid bandage? Just one. No, we need to make the bandage first, dude. That requires ten. All right, screw it. Unless I wanted to go pick ten cotton, which I kind of... Don't. I won't, not right now, anyways. Let's get moving here. So the snow is just right up here. I'm going to get myself killed. A bear's just going to fucking eat us for lunch. You just watch. Again, if we can find a small bear, I'm not too worried about the smaller ones. But, man, if, we, if I decide to shoot a big bear, then I'll get my just desserts. Oh, we just got a challenge, too. Um, the other thing we got to be careful of is mountain lions, because they're pretty mean. And tough. Um, we could try to go up that mountain road. Let's, uh, let's just stay on this main highway for now. Hey, Larry the Lumberjack. I killed a bunch of you guys earlier. Got a reward for it, too. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to kill you. As if he had a choice in the matter. Yeah, so this looks like it's going to curve around into the... More into the snow. You know, I never even looked to see if Rekt had any testosterone, but if he did, he'd probably be charging me way too much for it. 
Anyway. Yeah, I see you, chicken. Ooh. If we could find Trader Hugh, that'd be amazing. He's the weapons guy. Okay, there's a... There's a bear. And it, I think that's a little bear. But we're going to get Larry's attention. So Larry and a bow. Tough motherfucker. Okay, let's get back close to the bike here. We don't take this guy down before he closes on us. We need to ski daddle. That was that was too easy. But we do have an amazing rifle. And three points in dead eye, so I'm maybe I'm underestimating myself. But here again, this was a small bear. Come on, testosterone. There we go. We got it. <laughs> Very nice. All right. So to make the stogie, we just need paper that I've been leaving behind. And 250 plant fibers. Holy shit. Oh, somebody's eating my wolf. Knock it off. Leave my wolf alone. That's my wolf. Okay. I'm assuming we, some of that fat came from that wolf. Yeah, I'm sure it did. Um, we're not going to keep the bones. Let's go see if we can loot. There's a chicken. What time is it? Eh, it's a little after one. Let's go see if we can find a piece, a piece of paper now. <laughs> so we can... Uh, well... Yeah, and then I can... I can just harvest up 250 grass. That'll only take eight years. Not a big deal. We need to find another mailbox, though. Larry Hurts, man. Buy and go store. See, that's going to get back out of the snow biome again. Let's go down this road a ways. Is that house supposed to be up on blocks? Oh, no, it's not. It just hadn't rendered in all of the... That's the house on the hill house. Yeah, I don't think we're going in there. I mean, we could try and cheese the loot, because I have plenty of room to take loot home. Fisticuffs. Um... Nah, well, should we? This is a... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Look at the skulls on this place. What is it, tier four? Um... Oh, I heard something. Something growl. There, let's, uh... Let's surveil the house here. Yeah, uh, mountain lion. Hello. No, thank you. I guess that means we're not going to cheese that loot. I do want to clarify something about cheesing loot, though. A couple episodes ago, I said that I don't go in and get the end loot. 
but that only applies to a house that I'm about ready to do a quest on. If I'm just randomly looting a house, then I will I'll cheese the loot and not lose any sleep over it. So just wanted to clarify that. All right, we got another big bear. Let's put Larry down first. Uh, sorry, little bear, not big bear. There we go. We're hunting bar. Oh, Jesus. I'm not going to throw 22 leather away. Fuck that. Do I have honey in here? I don't. We should have honey in there. Well, I put I put that in there, though. We'll hit a couple of these just to see if we can get some honey, though. That way we can save our herbal antibiotic for a later stage infection, which I guess we have to allow ourselves to get if we want to get all of the challenges. Not a fan of that idea, to be honest with you. There's Larry. Okay, well, I guess that uh, concludes our little foray into the snow biome, unless this road wraps around and... Well, maybe it does go back into it. I'd really like to find a Trader Hugh. And if I remember right from our map, there's a couple of really good sized cities in the snow biome on this in this world. We're taking that. Let's get rid of that. Um, you know what we can do too is we can do this and this. That'll help us heal and also get us some food and stuff back. Did we get a challenge? We did. Enter snow. Okay, let's redeem that. We didn't get a challenge for bear hunting. I'm sure we have to kill 50. We've killed two. Okay. Fair enough. That looks like Darlene. Is that Darlene? No, that's Skater Punk. Have a steel arrow in your gut, dude. This guy is amazingly tough. I don't remember him being quite as tough as he now is. Uh, no. We're gonna not take that. Easy to make, easy to salvage. Come here, Ronnie. Let's just bypass this, Larry. This is kind of fun. Going on a little road trip like this. Is that a airdrop? No, it's just a coal. It looked very square from the, you know, my perspective. I believe we've found all of the airdrops so far. Let's check this truck. See, we, we got... Uh, I think the second to the... Oh, shit. There's an outline. Second to the highest loot stage in this biome, so... Definitely worth stopping and checking these cars. You know, because we have so much room for all this shit. Damn it, Larry, I wanted to check this van. You know what? Fuck you. I thought I heard a growl of a mountain lion. See, we'll leave the electrical parts easy enough to come by. Um, 
No, let's just keep going. We have a town down here, so we have a good chance of finding a hue. Let's press on. There's a wolf on the road. Aha! Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we can now make the mini bike. That is what we are doing when we get home. Woot woot! Finally can get rid of this bicycle. I have to say, though, this bicycle has served us well, but I am tired of, well, getting tired trying to pedal the damn thing. Uh, what's that place? Uh, I don't know, but that's not Hugh, so... Oh, there's a big bear. Yeah. I don't think we need to kill a big bear right now. Let's just wait. We probably could take him down, but if we don't and he closes on us we very well could not survive it so let's just leave him be okay you guys watch my compass for the trader icon to pop up and when you see it let me know okay the road gentleman we'll check these semis Um, I'm going to leave that stuff. It, it's, it's good stuff, but we will grab the gasoline though. Check the duffel bag. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. And if we can find Hugh, we can sell that to him. Uh, nope, leaving all that. There we go. Well, actually, no, we already have a blue one, but that's probably worth some bank if we sell it. I'm going to leave that stuff. And there's a Larry right there. Okay, so... Um, let's go this way. Well, that's probably not going to lead us to a trader. Let's not go that way. Funky streets, man. Okay. U.S. Army Post 7. That's where we have our horde base on multiplayer. That place is nasty. We will be doing it at some point in the future. When we're ready to, which we are certainly not at this point. Joe Bros. Oh, is that wasteland over there? It's either yeah, it's pro it. Where are we at? Yeah, that's got to be wasteland. Cause wasteland's in the center of our map. All right. Uh, no, I don't think so. I gotta be careful, man. I, I shouldn't be getting this far away from the bike because I can't move very quickly. Ah, we can make a nail gun now. Beautiful. All right, let's see if there's a Larry right over there. Let's see if we can get into this cop car. 
First attempt, baby. Okay. We have one slot left. Uh, do I have... I do. All right. Let's remember that we have that. When nighttime rolls around, then our problems go away because I'm not encumbered at night. Grover High. I've heard that place. <laughs> Look at the skulls on that. I've heard that place is a frickin' nightmare. Uh, someday. Not, not today, though. Today is not that day. All right, let's take a look at the map. Not seeing anything yet. Guess we'll go this way. Got another cop car. A Larry over there and a wolf. Anything on the other side of that tree? Oh shit. Ah! All right, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Clear. There we go. Look at that beauty. Okay, hey, we're going to drink that. Um. Why don't we... What are we going to do? Let's put the two mechanicals in there. Well, actually, how much are those worth? 13 versus 42. Yeah, okay. We need, we still need to make space for one more thing. So let's eat that because we're hungry anyway, and it'll help us heal. And we're going to go here. Take that off and put this on. Oh, that's amazing. 8x cope, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we could. Uh, do I want to put a scope on my pistol? Eh, I don't think I do, actually. Let's not. He turned like right when I. Oh shit! Time to go. The first time I pulled the trigger, he turned right when I squeezed the trigger, and then I got trigger happy on the second shot, which is an epic fail. We hit him the third time, but we didn't kill him. Okay. Um. What time is it? It's five thirty. We gotta find the traitor. There's gotta be a traitor around here. Uh, that's not, that's not the new trader, is it? No, 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 that's the checkpoint place. Yeah, let's go west. I don't seem to be having any temperature issues here, which is good. We did put one point into, uh, whatever that you know, skill is that helps with that. Oh, there's a big bear. No, we're leaving the big bear alone. We can, and, and, and we also have hyperthermal resistance, but we need hypothermal resistance for cold. But we must have some degree of it because so far I'm okay. Considering that it's my plan to live in the desert, ultimately, Having that hyperthermal existence. 
uh, resistance is good. We might not even need to put another point in that skill. We'll see how things go. All right, let's go this way. You, the trader's usually on the outskirts of the town, so that's why I want to kind of stay on the outskirts as we go around and check the place out. That's the way. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I like it. We get anybody else's attention? Nope. Okay. Let's do the cop car. A magnum. Let's drink that. Ooh, okay. Um... We'll take it, and we will... Is there any way I can consolidate something in here? Um, I'm going to toss these. They're super cheap and easy to make. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. <laughs> we, have, we have 44 ammo already in our inventory. Silly me. Come on, Trader Hugh, where are you? Is that him? I think that's him. Yes, we found him. Okay, good. Um, is there anything in here? We'll take our money with us. Can hardly walk. All right, let's go. See if we can offload a couple things to him first before we loot because, well, I can hardly move. <laughs> so we've met all, well, we haven't found Bob yet, but we'll find Bob in the desert. Today? A bear, man. I'm shooting bear. See Joe's armor? Those bullet holes? Well, what a fucking pansy. <laughs> okay, let's wear that. Have a look, see. All right, so you can have this and this and that um, and this. Uh, let's see. What else? Uh, this. I'm, I've got a decent amount of machete parts already. So I'm going to sell them those. Um, do I want to burn a repair kit on this? You know what? I don't. I'm just going to sell it. I know I could have gotten a lot more money if I would have repaired that, but... Repair kits are more important to me right at the moment. Now, you know what else we could one. do is this to save a slot. Uh, no, not that. This. Okay, so that got us a little bit of room left. Uh, let's see what he has. I've got guns for days. Just tell me what you're in the market for. He's got an SMG. He's got a green 44. Got a nice hunting knife. Um, what I'd really like is a decent pump shotgun, though. Those are actually not that expensive. Oh, he's got a tactical for 98. Yeah, okay. That's expensive, man. That'd be a nice weapon to have, though. Okay. So, the tactical would be really nice, actually. He resets on day 34. We'd have two days to try and raise, uh, you know, about seven... A little over 7,000 coin. Damn. Okay. Well, Waste of fucking time. We'll, <laughs> we'll keep that in mind. Let's loot real quick, and then we will uh, have to call it. 
call it, call it quits for today. Yeah, we got some of our lockpicks back. That's good. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in here to loot. Uh, except for that. Right. Okay. Let's go back here. I'm going to leave that. We will get gas. Because mini bike is priority number one when we get back. Definitely take that stuff. Mm, I'm going to leave that. Don't want any of that. Take that. Forge ahead. Blah, 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 blah. Seriously? Alright, I'll leave all that stuff. Uh, also, gonna leave that. Oh man, I'm leaving all these seeds, but we just don't have room for them. What in the heck? Oh, look at this stuff, you guys. A Raider helmet. 50% stun resist. That's pretty good. Obviously, we're taking the legendary parts. We don't give a shit about that. We're going to have to give something up. Uh, let's drink this water. That was a nice find there. I might even end up wearing that when we're question and stuff because the stun resist is good but it's also a level five so we could put you know more mods on it somebody was telling me that um uh, i guess we'll leave that i hate leaving water behind someone was telling me that you can put um multiple pocket mods as long as they're not the same type on um a piece of armor. So that's something we should try when the opportunity presents itself. More water. Jeez, I hate leaving water behind. Okay, let's go see if there's... Oh, these are lootable, huh? Okay. Well, that one was. No, they all are. Oh, we need that too. We're getting most of our lockpicks back. Okay, is there anything else I can sell you? We got we got a skedaddle here. I'm gonna sell him the leather. Um just sell the springs. The plastic if he'll buy it. Even the oil, just because here again we can get all that stuff easily from um salvaging cars. Sell him that brass. Alright, that yeah, gives a couple buddy. slots. All right, our first steel tool part. I did not know these shelves were lootable. Look at this stuff. Damn. That's some good shite. Not that. All right. Well, I'm glad I checked those. Anything lootable over here? No, I'm taking that. Oh, munitions box. Glad I didn't miss that. In fact, isn't there a munitions box outside in one of the lookout towers? I think there is. Maybe up in that tower. Let's limp over there and see if we can find it real quick before we get booted out of here. Um, I don't want him to get booted out and be on the opposite side of the palisade from where our bike is because we'll probably get killed. Okay, no munitions box up. Oh, we have this though. Nice. Is it in some other tower? I don't remember. Or maybe it's the one we found inside. Now. I'm not really seeing anything up here. Was 
risky. Okay, let's check this tower, and then we gotta get out of here. I know, you're tired. It's been a long day. Bear hunting's hard work. Oh, jeez, look at all that good stuff. There's our honey. Um... So I'll take that. Yeah, I don't see the munitions thingy. So maybe it's just the one oh, that was in in his store there. The plan for the next episode is going to be to okay, there's nobody here ready to jump us. Uh to make our mini bike. And then after that, we'll probably get back to doing some more jobs. Okay, guys, I'm going to head home. Hopefully I'll make it. And uh, I'm going to let you go here. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.